So I'm, I'm realizing it's too late. I'm starting to panic now. So <laughs> the water start coming through my nose. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so not joking. My throat starting to clog up because when that starts happening, it will get tighter and tighter and tighter. And the water keeps flowing through my nose. The only next thing to start coming through my nose would be the mashed potatoes. Can you just imagine? That would have been the end of Kenner's Corner. Wow. Over a tiny piece of potato. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Kendall's Corner. Today I just take a little break from the kitchen. It's August 1st, it's Emancipation Day. Just finishing editing my uh I just finished I had I edited about three videos for the morning, but the last one that I just finished editing was my extract. I did a spearmint, orange peel, and chocolate mint extract that demo is coming to you shortly. So if you're watching in this if you're watching this with me, I want you to put in a comment Happy Emancipation Trinidad and Tobago today. It's their emancipation day, the first of August. So I am just taking a break from editing and everything and I have a sour sub that I just pick on my tree. In that video actually with the spearmint when I go and pick my mint in my garden you would see me showing you all the actual sour sub that I was actually going to pick. Not knowing that I was actually going to make a, a video with this. So what I really like to do when I have a real ripe sour sub, what I would do is not even make juice with it. I'll make a punch and you know you can make juice, not juice, but like a water to drink with sour sub instead of adding milk and all that. What you would do, take off the skin and take the, the inside, put it in some water, ex extract everything from it, strain it and drink it as normal. Once the sour sup is sweet, the water will be really sweet and creamy. And you could drink it really nice it's really delicious so my sour sub tree has a lot of sour sup on it actually i have two but i know i can't eat the two of them and i choose to do this mukbang with you because this is something that i actually could go down my throat because i'm not swallowing anything here but juice so this would be very full and you wouldn't believe how full in this is so this is my lunch for emancipation day some sour sup so welcome to this special mukbang edition on Kenneth's Corner. So let's get into this sour sup. Let me show you what it looks like and this has a lot of health benefits. I washed it though. I make sure when I wash it thoroughly even though it didn't fall to the ground I pick it off the tree you know. So this is what it looks like inside. So let's see how sweet the sour sup actually is. So let's see how sweet it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is really good. So ladies and gentlemen, for all of those of you who are wondering, so how does she eat if she can't swallow stuff? And this is how I eat. <laughs> Take all the juice to it up. And then put it to the side. I wouldn't put it where you can see how gross that would be, right? So yes. In 1833, our country was freed. Our slaves was freed. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Mm -mm. It's so sweet, all homegrown. Mm. And this is how someone who can swallow consumes food. And the steak, you can take the seed, even if as I'm chewing it up, I can take the seed. 
Ja is flink, hè? Ik kwam. Ah, we werken hier op plaats. Please don't be cross up, right? Anything goes down my throat. I'll be almost good as dead. Let me just talk about the experience that I had just about five days ago. So I was home here. I had some mashed potatoes. So because you know I have potatoes, I'm gonna mash it once it's soft, it'll go on my throat, right? Hmm. And I I um I didn't realize that any mashed potato had some little pieces of potato still in it. Hmm. And I keep eating this mashed potato. And then all of a sudden, I just felt a clover. So when I feel, whenever that happens, I will get a gush of, for some weird reason, this always happens. I will get like a, a wind, like a gush of wind just coming up in my nose. And it will just be like a ball and just stick there. That's how I know something show stick, right? And... When that happened, I was like, oh gosh, no. But this mashed potato is soft. What happened here? Okay. Um, lo and behold, I decided to drink water. I said, well, mashed potato, so it's nothing too serious. You know, I could just drink water and it will go down. It wasn't, mashed potato wasn't going. So what I had to do, is to take some deep breaths. Still, I wasn't working. My last option always is to put my hand in my throat to bring up everything, right? That's always my last option. I just try my best with water and deep breaths. Now, if I am having, even if it's soft stuff, but it's too thick and it's going in too fast, it will just start to gather, 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 and nothing else will be able to pass. So I think that happened that is what happened, plus the little piece of mashed potato that got wedged in my throat there. Alright, so your girl doing she thing. The water not bringing it down, nothing isn't bringing it down. It can't go anywhere. So I, I'm realizing it's too late. I'm starting to panic now. So <laughs> the water start coming through my nose. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so not joking. I took off the air condition because I don't want the noise. I don't want a porno fan because that is worse than the air condition. So I'm feeling a little warm. And I don't open windows in my house because I don't have time for flies. Alright, back to the story. I... Water started coming through my nose. You go through a standpipe. You go swear it's a pipe. Water flowing through my nose. Because every time I'm gathering water, all the water I keep gathering there. Yeah. I have nowhere else to go. It can't go down, it's not passing. Water starts coming through my nose. My throat starting to clog up because when that starts happening, it will get tighter and tighter and tighter. And the water keeps flowing through my nose. The only next thing to start coming through my nose would be the mashed potatoes. So I have to avoid that coming because that would be trouble. So once this thing starts coming through my nose, I know what will come next. The food will start to try to come through my nose. So. I start to put my hand on my throat because I cannot take what happened with me. And I, I was, I think that is pretty dangerous too of living alone. Always being by yourself. But in situations like this, you have nobody who hearing you making noise would run and say, what's going on, everything okay? And no, you don't have that, right? So I panic and I, I start to pace on the corridor now because my throat started to get tighter. Water just keep, and stupid me. Even though water keep flowing through my nose, I keep drinking water to see the... So at, at one point, I was like, can I, this thing is not going on and, it, and water is coming through your nose. The next step here is you're going to fall on here and there. Do something and do something now. That just started to come through my, my, my brain, eh? But I lie. That's not true. I start to ball. I say, oh God, what is this? This is how I'm going on there? Over the pizza and mashed potatoes. I say, what is this? And that is when that thought come into my head. 
you know, I need to start to put my hand in my throat to see if it will come through my mouth. <laughs> Something had to come through somewhere because it can't go down. So the only option is either through my nose or through my mouth. Oh yeah. So I decided to bring it up. It took half of an hour for a piece of potato this small, literally this small. I am so not kidding. That is how small my mashed potato was. That was wedged in my throat that stopped the water from going on and the rest of the mashed potato. Now, what caused the buildup is because when I consumed the mashed potato, I swallowed it. It got wedged in my throat, right? And then I realized that. So all the, excuse, all the other mashed potato, soft, smooth potato that was going in, wasn't going down. And it, and it kept gathering, gathering. Now, I wouldn't feel it until it started to get real tight. So I, I didn't realize... That I had peace stuck in my throat because I really doesn't feel it unless it's something big and it gets stuck in my throat. So I didn't realize. So I keep eating the mashed potato and I wasn't even going slow. You know, I was eating like a normal pace. So I was going fast, I was going eating normal, right? Um this thing. This guy. I see I go in a way. I spent half of an hour. Half an hour trying to remove that potato. <laughs> when I done, I quickly remembered my very first experience of having to live with my new normal. Can be can solo certain things. <laughs> if I'm this, I have to be careful. So there's a method to mm, avoid stuff going in my throat. I have to put my tongue, the back of my tongue, high up and then shift all the food, as you can see all the food inside here, shift, shift everything inside here and then the juice come this way and I keep taking my tongue and, and turning this juice up to the side, it's like a rotation <laughs> going on here, so I have to chew, suck the juice, push all ever stuff to the side. I don't really think I extract enough from it. I remove it from my mouth. But that day, for some reason, I was so sure that I did all the mashed potatoes. It was so smooth. I was. I don't know how I missed that. But that's how easily we can die. I nearly choked and fell to the and and, and dropped dead. Huh? my gosh it was so frightening all the times that you know i had things wedged in my throat and stuff it was the first time water spewed that much it was you much you want to swear it was an open pipe i had in my nostrils and when this thing come out it was like this is what this is what nearly take me down because of carelessness as well it was basically carelessness i nearly lost my life over a piece of mashed potato that was so small you see i just opened my window that one behind me there because the place is so warm but I make sure I fix the curtain so that thing can come inside and you know something? One still come inside because I'm hearing a fly. And I am so crazy when it comes to fly. I will hunt that fly down until I find it. You know, if it take three, four hours, I will hunt that one fly down and that's how much I hate flies. I do open windows, I do open doors. And right now I just want to stop eating this house up and, and go and kill that fly. I do open windows, I do open doors, nothing, nothing, nothing. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is how I almost lost my life eating mashed potato so have you ever wondered how Kenda consumes her food knowing that she can't swallow this is basically what i would do i like sour sub juice like punch 
Og det er madgangen og det spicer så. <coughs> But this helps you away. It can't beat it. Or, as I said, you water. You could make sauce of water. And you know what? With this next sauce up here that I just showed you, I would show you how I make the sauce of water. And just consume it as water throughout the day. Real creamy and nice. And then once the sauce up is sweet, you have a nice, nice water to drink all day long. So, all you would do is take off your skin. Take this. Right? Is all you're doing. You're taking this. Taking out all this. Yeah. Oh, God, that fly. I'm putting it in the water. Extracting all the juice from in this. Mm. God, it's sweet. Mm, mm, mm. My God. What? Mm. Can't beat homegrown, you know. It can't beat homegrown, you know. Well, it could be homegrown and still be pumped with a lot of chemicals, eh? Well, this is organically grown, homegrown salsa. No chemicals. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, amazing. Mm. Mm. I just wanted to do this today because yeah, it's Emancipation Day. It's celebrating Emancipation. And I just wanted to lay back, do nothing, absolutely nothing, finish editing my extract videos. I pick this sauce up and I just said, let me come and sit here, first time doing a little mukbang with you guys, and share my near death experience. And that could have been the end of Kendall's Corner. Can you just imagine? That would have been the end of Kendall's Corner. Wow. Over a tiny piece of potato. <sighs> According to um, Zaddy Chunk Chunk, hectic. <clears throat> I don't know if you all look at him, but I love to watch their videos. Him and Nicole's videos. <laughs> so you and me leave. Just half of this. I am so full. So. Going back to um, my almost... Yeah, that's for him. Thinking that that would be the last of Kendall's Corner. No more chocolate and chit chat. Oh, yo, yo, that wouldn't have been too great, you know? I swear. I would have died. All because of a tiny piece of potato. Water spewing from my nose as if there is a, sta a pipe here. Because I'm choking on a piece of potato. <clears throat> so my car got full. I had to just, it just cut off on me. So I do apologize. So I was saying how, how silly I could have died, you know, on a little piece of potato. I am home here all alone. Nobody to, to scream and call out for help. I think that was frightening to like, I was like, and there's nobody, you have nobody here wrong, yeah. I'm so wrong. And the last thing on my mind is like to pick up a phone. Because I just pacing, pacing up and down because I was like, I don't know what to do. This is how I'm going to die. This is how I'm going to die, God. Oh gosh, a piece of potato. This is how you're going to take me out. And so when I scream out to God and ask for help, I just have to think, okay, I need to go and drink this water. Listen. When I now now started to go through this process, 
and had to figure out ways to eat and had to be careful. I had many moments like that, but this one here, where water spewing out of my nose, like I open my, a pipe somewhere in my kitchen or the bathroom, chai, the water in my pipe doesn't even come on hard so without the pump. First water was spewing out of my nose. This might sound funny, eh? but it was real. All right, so we have our last piece. You know how full in this thing is? This thing is so full in, eh? Ugh. And this is my lunch. This is my lunch. Take things for granted too much. We are adults. Humans are not whole. Yeah. Um when that whole situation was over with me and this clog up situation I was like whew We don't know how precious our day to day bodily function is to us to stay alive. You know? And that experience was very scary. So I was like, to this is me. Oh, you and me leaving kind of stupid. I started thinking afterwards. Um, okay, can I? This is how you're going on there because you can't get this thing out of your throat and I started to stifle. Right at that point, I started to stifle. As before, I decided to put my, my hand and started to bring it up for half an hour, this thing take to come up. Eh? I was like, whew, this is how they're going on. When you're dead, this is how they're going on fine, yeah. This is how they're going on fine, yeah. With this on, look at you here in your head. Oh, gosh. They're going on fire, my dad, looking so ridiculously looking. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Can you believe that's what I think the mom? How they going on fire, man, because I was a hard one. Even when I was thinking about it, I was like, but can I, can I go and look for clothes now, you know? To prepare the dead. I can go and look for clothes. Try and get this thing out your throat. To stay alive so nobody can find you dead with no clothes on. Mmm. 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 I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Go and buy yourself a sour sap. Make sure it is ripe, full. Because you don't want it half. You don't want it not too full and ripe and it's it not sweet. You want it to stay on the tree and get full and nice and, and then pick it, you know? Don't pick it when it's full and nice. Then it wouldn't be too sweet. And then, so you're looking for a nice full one if you have to buy it in the market, you know? And then, go home with it, obviously, where's your wood? And um, wash the outside properly, soap it because you don't know where you have it, you don't know what fly, use the toilet on it. You don't know who dirty hand was on it. Can I speak properly? You don't know who dirty hands was on the sour sap. So you want to clean it properly. And just open it and enjoy it. It's creamy and sweet. I think we need to um, take a thumbnail because I didn't even think about a thumbnail.
Guys, one. Let me try another. One more. Let me take a big long piece. Yeah, so I'm carried home. Let the Lord let this thing speak. Only I ain't joking, Anna. It's so milky and nice. Have any of you ever checked out Queen L Eats videos? Her and her husband, gosh, love them. I really do. Have you all checked out um, Alex? Alex Shook or Alex is Shook? Why am I forgetting this boy name when I'm watching his videos almost every day? Why? What's wrong with me? <sighs> And the life of a free spirit that's another youtuber love her all these are um reaction channels except um q and l eats okay um, um um very nice people Mm. Mm. So you say you could enjoy things naturally, you don't even go I feel with this store and pay for a sour sub juice is very expensive. A sour sub drink. Really too expensive. <sighs> Look how it's dripping all over my mouth. Oh. Mm -hmm. All natural. Very healthy for you. A lot of good benefits. So you all see how someone who can't swallow a solids will enjoy all the goodness in this sour sap and remove all the pulp and seed and just rest it to the side once she remove all the juice and this is the juice is so filling from this thing it is so so filling As I said, with the next hour supper, we'll show you how to make the water. So, pretty straightforward, you know, but it's really good. It's really good. And don't forget to look out for my ex um, mint extracts, my spearmint, my chocolate mint, and my orange peel. I didn't go and buy orange peel. I just peel orange, put it to dry, and then use it. Yeah. So, it's not very expensive, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
some parts right in my community like $40 for one and I size one but $40 for one thank god I have a very big tree outside my front door so I just prefer sauce up go and get one thank you Jesus almighty I growing plantains, I growing moko, fig, coconuts, mangoes. Hmm. I want a seabird chicken, eh? But oh gosh, I can't take the smell. I can't take flies. I just can't deal with the flies. But I would like to start some, you know, see what my own chicken, my own eggs. I grew up as well. I grew up doing everything with my mom. You know, we had a little pen outside. It was so much of fun. Hey, this generation, yeah, they are no good thing, no? They are no fun, you know? <clears throat> Going out, see much of chicken. Well, you know, fall in the yard to cook. Well, you know. Well, you know. And we're you not know, like some countries, you know. They go ahead take the neighbor for the call police. Here. <laughs> no. They never help when you run down the neighbor fall. As everybody coming together, run down this fall and make a big cooking here, and everybody sit down. Even the neighbor, they never know you running down the fall. And they come and they sit down and they eat with you. Everybody sit down and they eat the fall with some good dumpling. No, this show, any time for The only time to sit down home. So, I'm going to put you here. Talking on the phone or behind the computer, watching something on Netflix. How about Netflix? YouTube. Hey, I'm going outside in the yard, playing scooch, hopscotch, jump rope. Hey, talking about hopscotch and jump rope. And I tell you, I'll leave the fly open. I did fly open. I did even know open because I don't want to put on the air condition or a fan to make too much noise up in here. Alright. Alright. Try to catch this fly plenty of time even though they might not see it. Only if I realize how skillful that fly is. <laughs> I don't think no human being could play hide and seek like a fly. No human being on this planet could play hide and seek like a fly. Or even dodge ball like a fly. A fly could dodge a blow, you know. When you think you're trying to hit a fly, the fly jumps. So hit a fly, the fly try to go so. I don't think human beings could play hide and seek and dodge ball like a fly. There is the best. If you have a fly on your team, when you're in this game, you kill us. The fly will help you to win. It's amazing. Hmm. Mm. <clears throat> well guys we did it I am so stuffed and ugh, I don't think I want to see this but I'll just show you now you know as I really ate the entire sour sap well suck the juice off of the entire sour sap it was really sweet picked it in my gut in my yard this morning and we have another ripe one it's really ripe too so i don't want to play with it too much we're going to use that and make a juice with it i mean some water like i mentioned we're going to do that and that, this was my lunch you know that i do intermittent fasting 10 in the morning 2 in the evening Whoop. and this was my lunch today this entire sour sap it was really delicious and healthy and i'm good till tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock we did it so thank you all for watching this quick little sit down mukbang whatever you want to call it chit chat about how i almost died so do have an awesome awesome day and again Trinidad and tobago you all have an awesome awesome emancipation day free 
from slavery. Are we really free? We are in 2020 and look how we have to live because of this one virus. Are we really free? One virus have us so restricted. Hmm. What is humans? All right, guys, you will have a blessed day. Thanks so much for watching this quick video and hearing how, how quickly you all would have never seen another video from Kenneth's Corner if I had succumbed to that very hardened piece of potato that was wedged in my throat. You could imagine the trouble. This potato so fast wanted to just take me off at this planet. What? What's wrong with this potato? So you all would not have no more videos to watch. Eh? You all could imagine this nonsense. Uh-uh. I think I just watched too much on Nigerian YouTubers, so I decided to talk like them. Ah ah. Oi. I just like how this song is ridiculous. I, I just watched them so much, like I said, a song like them, talk like them now. Use certain phrases that they would use on their video. Alright, okay, now enough rambling. Thanks for watching my little sit down, eat video. Bye, thanks for watching.